If you've clicked on this video thinking I'm talking about BIMX or that it's a pure clickbait title, it's definitely not. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk about technology and more so nowadays, architecture. If that's something that interests you, make sure you smash that subscribe button 2020 style and let's get to today's video. So today we're talking about how you can run Mac OS or even Windows operating systems on your iPad. 100% legit, no clickbait. Now, the reason I came to this kind of research trail was more so for the fact that I was on site thinking, how can I get ArchiCAD on my iPad? How can I make it work? How can I show clients or how can I just figure out the bits and pieces that haven't been put into the early stages of the sketch drawings. It genuinely led me down a pretty big rabbit hole, but it came to a conclusion which is very powerful and a great way to implement ArchiCAD on your iPad. Now, having said that, there are some limitations to it, which I will get into later down the video. Now, in the last video, I did promise to move around the house a lot more and give you guys all sorts of different backgrounds to really keep the videos fresh. Unfortunately, a couple days ago, I completely ruptured my Achilles tendon and am on crutches and in a cast. So I'm not moving around too fast, but I am committing to my one video a week every Monday. So if that doesn't deserve a like and subscribe, I don't know what does. Now enough beating around the bush, let's get to what you're actually here for. The app I'm talking about is called UTM and I'll link it down below. UTM is a virtual emulator that allows you to emulate any Mac OS or Windows operating system on any device. So if you have, for example, an iPad or an iPhone, you can run Mac OS on either device. Now, obviously on an iPad Pro, it's gonna run a lot quicker than it's gonna run on an old iPhone. What you need to understand is UTM is not an app store supported app, which means you can't go and freely download this app and willy nilly start using any operating system. Unfortunately, you do need to side load it in, which means your iPad or iPhone doesn't need to be jailbroken. It can be running the latest iOS system on it and you can install it somewhat legally. Apple doesn't condone this app in any way, shape or form. So if you do download it and do use it, make sure that it is at your own personal risk. If for some reason it does corrupt your iPad or your iPhone, your warranty will not cover this because it's a third party side loaded app. There is a bit of a process to installing this. It's all gone through on the website. If you're interested, you, as you'll find out later down this video, I don't actually recommend trying this whatsoever. So if I've already told you I wouldn't recommend it, I've probably given it away. What's the catch really? The catch is pretty simple. It's an emulator. It runs Windows and Mac OS, but from a very, very dated version. For example, Mac OS is only running 10.5 Leopard, or you can run Windows XP or Windows 7. Knowing those facts, it means you can only run ArchiCAD 14 on the iPad OS, or if you decide to run the Windows version instead of the Mac version, you can actually bump it up to ArchiCAD 19. The second catch is very simple here. It does not support DirectX or OpenGL graphic card supports. So even though your iPads and your iPhones have their own internal graphics capabilities, this software isn't able to harness that power and isn't able to use it to actually run graphics performance programs. So for another example, if you're trying to play high-end video games on this emulator, or if you're trying to really, really push out high-end 3D rendering, there's absolutely no way it'll work. ArchiCAD is good enough to load up and boot up, but that's probably about the extent of it. You can maybe get into a page or two before it decides to crash and completely be useless because it has no graphics functionality. You can't open the 3D versions of mo your models. You can't really dive in depth like you can in BIMX. So overall, BIMX is still a better and more capable product, but it's nice to know that you can actually install and run ArchiCAD on an iPad if you're extremely, extremely desperate. And for some reason, 10, 10 or so versions behind, I don't think many people are gonna be running ArchiCAD 14 still on their main primary desktop. So you can't run ArchiCAD 24, you can't run the latest Revit 2020, 
you basically can't do anything to keep up with modern technology. So why even make a video about it and tell you guys that it's possible but at the same time it isn't there yet? Well, that's kind of the whole point. It is possible and within the next couple of years I truly do believe that we will see maybe a view only version of our PLN files that we'll be able to view and manipulate inside an iPad and then be able to progress further and further as technology becomes more advanced. And it's probably gonna be the exact same thing for many high-end graphics intensive programs. So any video game you can think of, any rendering software you can think of, there's a good likelihood that in the next five to 10 years, it's gonna be all able to run off your iPad or even off your smartphone. So why did I previously say I don't recommend installing UTM? Well, one, it's not supported by Apple. So if anything goes wrong, your warranty is null and void. Two, it's not on the App Store and it probably never will be on the App Store. So it is a very time consuming process to install it for a very risky, outdated software. So the emulators are running Leopard and Windows 7. That's, geez, almost a decade ago that we were running those software on our primary devices. And finally, without the graphics capabilities, there's kind of no real point of being able to run a really outdated version of ARCHICAD or a really outdated version of whatever you're trying to open on your iPad because the files you've created on your main desktop or whatever your primary working device is are gonna be so far advanced and not backwards capable to 2010 or whenever the software was actually announced and released. So theoretically, yes, you can run ARCHICAD on an iPad in practice, probably not the most useful thing to be spending your time on, figuring out how to load it on there and figuring out the nitty gritty of going back 10 versions ago. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you next Monday.